Hello everyone and welcome back to another satisfactory video. Before we get into the video, I do want to say if you like this video, definitely like the video and subscribe to the channel because it does really help the channel grow. So if you can do that, that'd be greatly appreciated because then we can grow the channel together and then that allows me to make more content for you guys. All right, so let's get started with the video. So the building that we're going to be looking at today is kind of a twofold building because one, it's going to be making fuel that we can use to distribute to all these other trucks that you can see here that we have for our train station. Now, if you do want to see this video, I have this video made and it is up on my channel. So definitely go check that out if you want to see how the train station works. But to make all that fuel to distribute, we have to have a building for that, and that's exactly what this building is for. So the first thing that you're probably going to notice when we look at this build is this big entrance point with a road. Now, the reason why is, like we kind of mentioned at the beginning, we're going to be having trucks distribute all the fuel that we're making and then distribute it into these little rooms or to another building somewhere else. So these trucks kind of just act as the distribution part of it. So that's why we have a road, but then you can see all these different refineries in here. Now, if we come through this door, we'll get into this room later. But if we come through here, here's kind of where it all starts, because what we're going to be doing is bringing in crude oil from the train station. And then we're going to take that crude oil and bring it into these refineries. Now, these refineries, if we come into it, are making fuel and then with that becomes polymer resin. So this building kind of is a twofold to where we're making the fuel, but then we also are going to be making the canisters that it needs to go into so we can package it. And so that polymer resin, then we can convert that to plastic, which is what we need for the canisters. And we have a total of 18 refineries in this building. So we have 10 on this side. And then on the other side of the road, we have another eight. Now you can see that here, we're having all this conveyor underneath and all this pipe extra that we're going to be taking into those other refineries to make the plastic. Now on the other side of the road, if we come through, make sure we're checking our roads because there are trucks running. If we come through here, you're going to see more refineries, but then here you're going to see a lot of fuel generators. Now, I want this building to kind of be twofold, like I mentioned, where it's again talking about fuel, but then we're also making power with it. So right now we're not because I still need to find ways to get crude oil over here first, but everything's hooked up and ready to go power wise. So then once we get that crude oil, these eight refineries will then feed all of these 24 fuel generators is the idea and then again we'll take that polymer resin that it's going to make as a byproduct and then put that into making plastic for those empty canisters now if we come through here let's start with where the plastic is made because that's kind of the first or second step of the process so once we're done with the polymer resin we're then going to bring it in and then we're going to make our plastic so you can see here we need 60 polymer resin and each refinery makes 30 so since we have 18 refineries cut that in half is how many uh, generators or refineries we need to make 100% plastic so then we're gonna make that plastic and then export it and then it's gonna go up into these constructors and then this room is just pretty much all the constructors we have a total of nine constructors because we have nine different refineries making plastic because it's kind of a one-to-one -one base there so then we're just gonna make all those empty canisters and you can see that we're going to feed each three. So again, we have nine, so three, six, nine, split them up into thirds. And then we're going to distribute those canisters into our next room, which is a fuel packager. So then we'll just take all this, you know, fuel that we have along with the empty canisters, and then we'll combine those two together so we can actually produce the fuel that can then be distributed. But yeah, it's a very, very simple design. You can see all the conveyor underneath. I love using these catwalks up above because it just allows me to keep the floors with conveyor and then all the space up above is just clean for walkway, but really, really simple. So again, you can see that we have this oil or not oil, excuse me, our fuel coming in underneath. Again, I'm using this floor. It's really made for conveyor, but then I also use it for my pipes because I think it looks really good. Again, it doesn't like fully connect, but it just looks like it does. And then if we just come underneath, you can see where all that fuel is going to be merging to go up into those packagers. And then all this conveyor right here, you can see this is all the polymer resin from the 18 different uh, refineries. But again, cut that in half. So in total, we have nine pieces of conveyor because each one is two to make that 60 that the refineries need to run at 100% efficiency. So you can just see all this conveyor underneath. I know it's kind of dark down here, and that's just because I don't really need that much light down here. I have a lot of light where I actually will be walking, but not really in the spots that I don't really need it. And then again, once we're just out of all those refineries that you can see here, we'll then go up and then feed into the constructors. And then after we come out of the fuel packagers, we'll then take all that conveyor and merge it 
so then we can distribute the fuel into these two different truck stations so each truck station will distribute to something else so one of the truck stations will supply the train station so we can have all that fuel and then one other like the other truck station will feed something else so i'm still trying to figure out what that will be so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video this video actually went by a little bit quicker than i thought it would but it's a very simple build it's just a pretty big building especially when you look at the top down view of it it's a pretty big building but there's a lot going on i mean again 18 refineries plus another nine that we can use to make plastic then all the fuel generators the truck stations the fuel packagers there's a lot of machinery in here but it's really not a complicated building it's actually a very simple building it's just there's a lot going on inside of it so thank you for watching guys it is greatly appreciated if you do want to see the train station that we talked about earlier definitely go check that video out it will be in the top right you can click on that and it will take you to the video but yeah i will see you guys for the next video thank you very much for watching and bye bye